everyone, welcome. My name is Leo Gaming, and today I'm going to be teaching you on how to use this LEA launcher. This the launcher only came out yesterday, so um, I'm just going to teach you on how to use it. Okay, so um, when you open up the launcher, you should get that little thing that you that you just saw, and it will just load all the mods. So now, once you've done that, it will bring you here. Um, let me just quickly fix up something. Okay. So it should bring you here. Now that you see that, you should. If this currently says D install, uninstall very much. But I don't want to uninstall it. But when you install it, what you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to go to your roaming and delete Minecraft. Yes, you have to delete this file in order to install the LEA thing, the LEA's quest installer. So now once you have clicked install, just give it a couple of seconds. It should say um, all this extra stuff. So let me just do this quickly. I'm going to copy this over to my desktop. And I'm going to show you, so deinstall. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now it has been uninstalled correctly. And now you must just make sure that you do not have that uh, roaming file, the, min the dot .minecraft. Uh, poo. Let me just quickly. So this is the installation that's gonna happen. Once that has happened, then now you must click installer. Installer. That very much just means install. So now, remember, you do not have this .dot Minecraft file in your roaming. So what this says is that it has installed correctly. And once you've done that, just to show you all the mods that is here, all of these mods, all of them. This one just says deactivate, so like I can just tell that mod to be deactivated or to activate. So these are, this says the mod activated, the mods deactivated. Minecraft, I'm not entirely sure what this premium, no premium is, but I'm just gonna launch with the Knet launcher due to me having it in English. So I'm gonna click no premium just to show I do not know what this is. If any of you do know, please say in the comments and help your guys out. And credits to this man right here. He made this LEA's quest installer. And you better thank him for making this. I am just doing a tutorial on in, in, in English. So I'm not going to be a premium. So I've got my Knet launcher out. What this would cause you to do is you would have to create a username el underscore gaming login. Don't worry, you can name yourself anything. You can just edit the profile however you want to edit it. But out of always, you have to have this LEA's quest designed by Hero Her Heberon. I do not know how to pronounce your name, sir. Um, so all you have to do is now just click play. What, what's going to be happening right now is that it's going to be checking all the files and all that stuff and once it has done that it would allow you to start playing the game so I'm just gonna cut it from here until the game has started and here we go yay okay so now um, it's gonna come up like this it, Due to this launcher only came out like a couple or like a day ago, expect it to crash quite a bit. Um, if it doesn't crash for you, great for you. But if it does, it's just sort of expect it. So, just to explain this out a little bit, the launcher. Okay, so you have your typical quit game, connect to all that stuff. So, uh, let me just turn on my audio. So, 
here we go. Um, we have our forge mods, which is all the mods that actually help. This is just light mods, which is very much just the menus and stuff. Resource packs, we only have one by default, which you should have. You can add your other ones. You have single player, there should be nothing here. Multiplayer, nothing. Connect to. You can easily just connect to your preferred server as it says right here luckily this is not in Spanish you also have your Rudo plays shader and all these settings which is fine and also there's a beat in the background so um, that's very much this mod uh, no no sorry not this mod this launcher so like that's very much just this launcher for you guys and it just crashed so sort of expected to crash sort of expected um, to have some bugs also what you can do is you can go into your minecraft folder and you can actually go and drag like your other shader packs on you can also go and drag in all your e other mods also your resource packs um, also your uh, wait, uh, your saves you can also just chuck those in you can also just chuck your versions of minecraft in because this will work with any launcher you don't have to have that knet launcher because actually there's multiple launchers as you can see there are three but the, the last one doesn't work this one is in mexican which is oh, sorry no spanish which is a little issue for me because I I don't really understand Spanish that well so what I would prefer you guys to do is to actually download this uh, magic launcher 1.2.5 and um, where I got it from was Corrales um, if any of you do know him um, he he actually um, does like let's builds like how to builds all that kind of stuff so Keralis K R A I think that's on how you spell it Keralis okay yes so here we go you just need to go onto his, his um his minecraft uh, channel and all you have to do is you're just gonna have to go and search for uh, his one v video on how how to um, install uh, shaders that that should work 1.5.2 shaders installation um, and that should work because all you just need is that launcher and if you have that launcher all you just have to do is just launch it go to setup you don't need your name anything you just get change classic to Ali A's quest and you're good to go so that's the last solution if um, that launcher did not launch for you hope you guys have enjoyed and please leave a like comment and subscribe please subscribe to my youtube channel if this did help you although my youtube channel is made for how to create a first person shooter game in unity and just show me some just show me some love if this did help you remember this is just the launch um just one day after this launcher has just been released so see you guys in the next video